And then the weird CG starts. It is a little, it's old for its time. Come on, the CG in the intro, do you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. That's classic early 2000s. That this is very true. Well, folks, we have a very special uh, show. This is Adrian, the masterful dude of doodliness, the face that runs the place, the go- the host with the most, oh my joined God. by my beloved George the Bone King. Bone King. Hello, everyone. And finally, in studio, got her from her little fortress of solitude. I got Liz Oak in studio. Say hi, Liz. What's up, guys? Finally, <laughs> we're we're together again for the first time. Some may say. Yeah, yeah. Well. So we have a lot of news to cover. We are recording this on Friday. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Uh, most likely it'll be posted Saturday. Friday already? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, and... So quick. Uh, so quick. I would have to say, uh, I commend George on his excellent hairdo. You... It's the weirdest thing, and I know that this is a weird topic to jump off from, but you always compliment my hair when I need a haircut. <laughs> So I don't think you need a haircut. I like the qua- what do you think? He's got like a Chris Redfield Resi One look right okay, now. Okay, they call that a puff. You got right? a puff. You got a puff. This now puff puff. Like friends, give. friends have called it a Jufro. So no, it is not a Jufro. What I Seth mean, Rogen it's had? Style. It's a good style, but I mean, yeah. this is the closest thing I've got in terms of an actual hairstyle. All right, what do you think, Liz? <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> I think it needs to be a little bit puffier in order to be a Jufro. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, so I, you're right. I think it needs a permy to be a Jufro, like a perm type, yeah. of, like Seth Rogen. That's we what I think. We should just throw of. some beads in there. To be honest, to see what bees kind of, or beads. Both. By this point, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not bees. against anything. <laughs> the pain. All right. Enough. Uh, Wait. Don't like Metal Gear. <laughs> so, so let's talk a little bit about why we opened with uh, Justice League. A lot of big news have come out uh, because of San Diego Comic Con. Marvel's not there, so it's. DC, Warner Brothers, time to shine. So it's just DC Unlimited today? Uh, no, well, for the first two segments at least, right? Yeah. No, I know. I was just messing with you. I was trying to make a Justice League joke. Got it. Got it. <laughs> so first off, first things first, let's get pissed off really quick. Uh, F Batman, Robin. <laughs> okay. Where he's snapping necks using guns, doing his best Jason Todd impression. So bad. Oh, it's so beautiful. quotation marks, Jason Todd, and quotation marks, Grayson. Uh... How do you feel, Liz? That's that's not my dick. That's, <laughs> that's not, not your dick. That's not my dick. Okay. No. Hashtag. I don't like that's dick like that. That's not my dick. Hashtag that's not my dick. Let's get this trending. <laughs> As if we're live right now. Ter- <laughs> terrible dick. Terrible dick. <laughs> we're not cursing at all. Hashtag like... bad dick. <laughs> No, I, I agree. I mean, I, did you you saw the I posted so it on So you can fan agree feeds. there is such a thing as bad dick. Oh, absolutely. Hashtag would not call back. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag turn off the bat signal. <laughs> um, home. I really don't like anything of what I saw. It is too dark. It is a blue filter. It oh, so is, you noticed that too, yeah. It is super Snydery. More, yeah, you pointed out that it needs color correction. I had to watch it again. I was like, you are absolutely right. It's just blue. The whole thing is just blue. This is it. I'm blue and I need a big guy. Okay, daba dee daba die. Okay. <laughs> okay, if we're going to start quoting my Eiffel 65s, we're going to do this correctly. <laughs> but but yeah, it's, it was really edgy. I, uh, I hated everyone. I hated how everyone Liz, uh, actually, this is an area I don't know about you, but this is an area I don't know. She knows more than I do because she's a big Teen Titans fan. Oh. Uh, the biggest. How do you feel about Raven looking like a Hot Topic customer? I mean... Oh, my God. The thing that I hated about the trailer was that the powers that she did show wasn't really powers. There was a... In Fan Freaks, there was a really... There was a cool guy named Julian. He said something really fun that it was basically like he... He said that Raven just sounded like a Snapchat filter the entire time that she was there. <laughs> well, uh, that's that's an interesting way to look at it. I feel the Snapchat filter goes to Starfire, who well, actually shot fire and not Starbolts. Hold on. Yeah. I have, a, I have a, a huge problem with the Starfire only because they didn't really show a lot of Starfire. And I feel like they did that because they were scared. Because of all of the backlash that came out from the still yeah. backstage photos. So they didn't want to, like, show her too much. So they wanted to show, like, their main, 
the, I guess, quote unquote characters, which would have been Nightwing and Raven. But isn't that counterproductive? Because it's like you have all these people that are like, no, this new Starfire still, we're not really good with it. We have problems. Wouldn't you want to prove how it works within your film by showing her more? I honestly think they're just not done with the CGI of her part. They're probably not done with anything, to be honest. I mean, it's supposed to come out later this year. Also, uh, quick breaking news. Iron Fist Season 2 to come out September 7th. Okay. They changed the the fight choreographer. Misty Knight will be in this season. And Danny will wear the mask. Ah! For at least one episode. That's what they confirmed. For at least one episode, somebody leaked that. I cannot believe it took this long. For him to wear a mask? I know. To wear the Iron Fist mask. Like, no, yes? I mean, it's not that surprising, to be honest. How so? With how... With how certain with how they do the Netflix series, always season one is like a very strange origin story, and they don't really get <laughs> their yeah they yeah they don't really get their costumes quote unquote until like at the very end or like next season. Hmm, it can't have one of those just re- regular Spider Man origin stories where it shows him just sketching in his book what he should look like, and then he just magically has it. Yeah, yeah, that that'd be a way to fix it, right? Another way to fix all these all these Netflix shows is to cut down the episode length from ter- thirteen episodes thirteen thirteen episodes to like seven or eight because we no you had it right the first time we we don't oh need God. we don't need thirteen episodes of the Punisher there were that Punisher season one didn't need thirteen episodes there's I, four I'm, episodes where nothing happens okay I'm ha- I'm still watching that one I'm not so I'm not spoiling not anything there's legit going to be episodes where you're going to fall asleep and nothing happens Mhm Mhm <laughs> Mhm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm just trying to skirt away around this but I want to go back really quick to Iron Fist can you imagine there would be a scene of him just sketching just the top like mask of it he's like yeah yeah yellow bandana Wrap that around my face. Oh, my name is Danny Rand. <laughs> and I'm the immortal Iron Fist. He like signs it and it's just like... A All right, so um, I'm still getting the DC Universe thing simply because of the, the value of it. Now, yeah. George and I, we were opining on it. I said... Opining. If we... If, I said I was going to get it if it's 10 to $15 a month. It is actually a better value than that. It is $75 for a year. If you commit to it, you get three months extra on top for free. So you get 15 months for 75 bucks. And if you, you know, do your little division or whatever, it comes out to $8 a month. No, I mean $6 a month, whereas you could do month to month, which is $8 a month. And you get a bunch of comics. Uh-huh. One of the, the, the three comics they were showing off because they showed off, they said all of Wonder Woman's uh, New 52 run, mm-hmm. all of the death and return of Superman, and the entire... So the suspense is there. All the, <laughs> all the court and battle for the cow. Ooh. The court of owls and battle for the cow. I know uh, you said cow, but I heard cow, and I just think it'd be a lot better. Moo. Moo. There is a bat cow in, a, in an alternate universe. There is a cow that dresses like a bat. Is it just yeah. the whole farm, Batman? Because there's spider No, no, no. The whole farm is Gotham. Goth ham. That's actually what I you think I'm joking, but no, I'm not. No, no, the sad part is is I believe you one hundred percent and I can't wait to read it. You saved the cow. That's all you need to know. Yeah. Yes. No bat burgers today. No bat burgers. No. Someone's popping off. Uh that's over there. They can be excused right now. It's probably more news breaking in. But I'll check oh, no. it out for the second segment, which uh is the Aquaman poster. Let's talk about that right it's now. It's not really a second segment, but it's our next topic, yes. <laughs> uh, so I saw, the, I saw the poster, and as someone who has no comic backing, and I'm just looking at it on a But pure... a Photoshop backing, because you can Photoshop your life away. Right? <laughs> well, I, I'm not going to start claiming professional skills here live on air, but I can do something. And I'm looking at it. It looks very blue. <laughs> That's the point. It has the fish and... I'm noticing a theme with DC and how they're lighting their characters. It's a lot of cold lighting, and they don't like to really like uh, accentuate. It's over. It, it's not like it's it's stylized, but in a weird way. It's like picking the wrong thing to to really compound upon. Because since it's so blue, it kind of blurs together. There's no real lighting on Aquaman himself, so it just he kind of becomes part of the dark blue hue that all these other fish and it. I don't know. I thought it was an okay poster, so, but... Nothing stands out in the poster. In my opinion. I don't know. Except the memes. Except the memes. The memes are great. 
I saw the Zack Snyder poster where they just did the opposite and made it dark, like just <laughs> black and red. And it's like, yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, that'd be Snyder. Yep. Uh, Snyder confirmed that he has not watched Justice League and he has no plans to. And that the Snyder Cut definitively does not exist, according to Warner Brothers. Speaking of Justice League, um, I texted him earlier today. I was like, or not early today, a couple days ago. I, I never stayed past the credits for Justice League because why would you? We both love Justice League, so... I stayed behind, yeah. Oof. Oof. Okay. Um, Well, actually, she has a bone to pick with you about another movie, but it's fine. That's fine. As long as it's not Suicide Squad, we're fine. It it is. Oh, God! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Okay, you can try... Are you ready to be wrong, George? Are are you ready to (laughs) have some resistance here? Uh, (laughs) Are you ready to be educated? Ooh! The threats. (laughs) They're real. Um, No, but I was going to say something about something beforehand. Oh, yeah. And at the end of Justice League, past the credits, no one told me freaking Deathstroke shows up. Yeah. How did I not hear about this for this long? And his suit looks so silly. That's all I gotta say. Silly? Oh, yeah. It looks like a Power Rangers villain. I'm not lying. That's a great suit. That's the one compliment everybody gave about Deathstroke. He looks great. He looks like the comic. So you you guys, did you guys watch Power Rangers growing up or? Yes. Okay, because that's how you do suits. The head is way too big. Have you read Deathstroke comic books? No, and I'll give you that. But on a, <laughs> but on a purely Oh, you'll give it to me, huh? Oh, yes. Oh, God damn it. Um, <laughs> hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Okay, hold on. <laughs> I like the, the composition, the way the suit looks, but the proportions are off. The head is way too big for the body. It should be modeled around the actor's face and not like a huge motorcycle helmet. All right. It just looks a bit off. No one else seems to agree with me on this? Yeah? No. Nope. Oh, I was shocked. I thought it was pretty obvious. No. I mean, that's how his helmet is in the comics. Exactly. But like in Injustice, that. it looks like it's regular face form fitting, like Red Hood. The game? Or, or Yeah. What's wrong with the... Why, why can't I bring up a design in Injustice? All right. Okay. I think it looks almost the same. It's not like Injustice 1 where everyone looks the same, even the female characters. You have some very strong necklines in the game. <laughs> I'm just saying. And some might say that about Injustice 2. Because there's like... No, some face models in that one. Yeah, there's some face models in that that are like, ooh. Okay. And then other ones that are like, ooh. Yes. That's why I'm like, those other ones that are like, ooh, we're definitely not in the previous one. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, to continue with you, what do you guys think of the Aquaman poster? I didn't mean to totally. Uh, I personally think it looked like crap. Okay. Eh, I can agree with what you're saying that there was nothing exactly about the poster that really caused anything to attention. It's just a bunch of fish. Yeah, it's like, what do we know about Aquaman? Well, he talks to he fish. talks to fish, he talks and to he's fish. underwater. What did I learn new from this poster? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> like, except he wears leather underwater. He's wearing leather pants. And he has the DreamWorks face where he's like, <laughs> and it's like, what secret are you holding, you weird, weird man? Uh, there's there's some things I have to, to say. Secret we are Atlantis. we are getting the traditional Aquaman armor in this. We're not getting the Justice League Aquaman armor. Right. And So pants. And one of the main things about Aquaman is the Trident of Neptune. And that's one of the movie's plot is him getting the trident of Neptune. I just realized I have no idea what Aquaman's origin story is, besides that he was just born there. <laughs> like, no, he wasn't born there. Oh, okay. So the you want to do it, or do I? Um, do you I mean, like the fish man? I like the fish man. You we both, we both man. like the fish he man. He is one of the more underrated characters of DC just because of the amount of hate and memes that have been put on this poor man. Yeah. Actually, one of the, the best books of New 52 was Aquaman because Jeff Johns was writing but it. Do you count Family Guy jokes as memes? <laughs> I mean... They can be. Okay. I, I hear what you're saying. It is essentially the same thing, but I just think it's funny. It's like everyone hates on Aquaman, but then the like other people that created media started catching wind of that, and then he became the butt of every joke. And then I found more people being like, okay, but he is pretty cool, though, and, like, actually defending him after the people who were writing him are like, oh, everyone hates him. I have you know no what idea I mean? how many times I've had to defend this man. <laughs> I've lost count as well. Actually, Julio's, like, the biggest staunch defender because that's one of his favorite heroes. Yeah, Julio and William Prime. Yeah. They... William Prime. Well. Is he, is he a Transformer? He's he a huge Transformers, Transformers fan. Oh, okay. And uh, he actually owns a replica trident. Of Aquaman. 
And he calls me Kryptonian. I call him Atlantean. So, so if like, I go up to him and be like, hi, nice to meet you. My name is George Decepticon. <laughs> Wonderful. He'll like you. He'll automatically like you. I know my way. This is good. <laughs> Make new friends. Anyway, we're getting a little bit over time. You want to still go over the... What do you mean over time? We bullshitted for three minutes. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. We can talk gotta about it. i got to edit that now. What? It or what? The BS part. Dude, we cursed already. We have a when guest. When did we curse? We said uh, uh, Dick. I, dick. That is That's not a curse. Name. That's his name. Respect the dick. Okay. Um, you know what? Has anyone just called him Can, Richard? Like Richardson? He Richard? hates it. Really? Yeah, it's very rare that someone calls him Richard. Mm, okay. Actually, like Starfire mm. used to call him Richard in the in the Silver Age, and she was, and he was like, "No, please call me Dick." <laughs> okay. I mean, I could see you wanting to have your actual name. You know what I mean? Like, I can get the joke is there, but that's what my name is, people. Right, but you he know? didn't like to be called Richard because of his uh, his dad was calling him Richard. So when his dad died, he didn't want to be called by Richard except anybody by his dad. Who's dead. Yeah, and no one should be called Richard. Right. All right. Resident <laughs> Evil references always. All day long here on uh, on Cannon Fire. Uh, what else is there? Oh, new comics. We'll leave that up for the second segment because there's three segments on that piece of paper when there should be four. Remember, it's a four-segment show? He sends me a voicemail, write up the thing for the the show today. And I'm like, I don't even know what goes... I'm going to try. I'm going to try. And I did try, and apparently it wasn't good. All right, and we'll be... Oh, jeez. My favorite Facebook page is Fan Freaks. Everyone should subscribe to it. Gotta keep your head up. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> Everyone likes your Ling Ling. I, I, I hope you won. Okay, so you know what it's like if you put rubbing alcohol in a wound and it's like, oh, Jesus, it hurt. That's what I feel each time you play that Ling Ling thing. Are you going to redo it? I will redo it for you. When? I'll do it right now, even. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Just let me fix it, Jesus. I need you to do a better Wesker. Well, God, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a sex thing? No. <laughs> but to you, it might. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. All right, All right, so welcome back, everyone. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the new comics. Uh, this is Liz and I. This right is, now. This is Captain gonna... Bone King Liz coming at you. It's all of our names put together. I just, I just figured. All right. Uh, so, Liz, we got Grant Morrison, Grant the Man Morrison. He's oh. going to be writing Hal Jordan yes. Green Lantern. But here's an interesting thing it's going to be a cop procedural in space. What? That's how he wants to write it. Yeah, I heard Ooh. something about a buddy cop drama with uh, Green Lantern. Well, I mean... That's the idea for the movie. The Green Lantern Corps is basically an intergalactical space, space force. Yeah. So right. right. That, so that makes complete and total sense. Question. Um, I know... Oh, hey. Uh, I know Marvel has the Nova Corps. Yeah, which came okay. later. They ripped off Green Lantern. Okay, so... I'm just wondering how many police, galaxy-wide police forces are there? In both companies? No, in DC, I guess I should probably in, in, Is Green Lantern the only one? I mean, the only one that's ruled by Will. Uh, Star Sapphire's love. Mm-hmm. Blue is hope. Blue is hope, but there's only Saint Walker. He's, oh. only, he's the only one, right? Oh, yeah, he's the only one left now. Um, so. <laughs> then there's Larflees, who's... Uh, envy. No, right? but you yeah. guys are just giving me other colors of, of the Lantern Corps. Right. There's no. There's really no other. Like when you're doing cosmic uh-huh. for both cosmics, when we just refer to anything in space, Marvel Cosmic has way more than DC. DC is all lanterns. That's so weird to me. You have such an infinite space to protect, and you're it's just straight up only Green Lanterns. Like well, no, mean, no, there's Green Lanterns. lanterns. There's, oh, there's lanterns, lanterns everywhere. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. That makes like, more sense. Like you know, Yellow Lanterns take over a Special Quadrant. Yellow Lanterns are always fighting the Green, and uh, you have Red Lanterns who are just pissing off everybody because they're angry. Exactly, they're just angry, and Snake. they have the best character in DC, which is a deck star. Oh, I, oh, that's his cat. I that's was the cat. Say, yeah, the cat oh, has man. like one of the best origin stories I've ever read. One of the best special cat. moves too. Actually, <laughs> I really hope DC 
if they ever do it, I really want that that Blue Lantern Corgi oh my God. to be a lantern. I want that Corgi to be real. Because there's like a fan uh, a fan edit. What is or blue whatever. again? Blue is hope. Oh, I thought it was like so, the so it's sadness a, corgi. So it's a it's a it's a corgi that just you know is very hopeful and is like, don't worry, everything will be fine. And he, and it's a talk bubble. He's but it's the first to die when tragedy strikes. <laughs> just so you I know. would actually be fine if Saint Walker died and that ring went to a, a dog. Oh, shut up! His name is Saint I Walker. Would be totally down. And I would I would absolutely pick up a monthly issue of just a blue lantern dog fighting a red lantern cat. That would be the highest selling book. Of they all should DC. honestly have like a paired comic. They should work together. Wouldn't that wouldn't that be funny? That'd be weird. You as have shit. a straight man and you have the, the the weird one, and then it's like Ooh. one of those standard shows. You know what I mean? Oh, it'd be like Cat Dog, but in space. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, all right. So uh, we have Graham Morrison, which I'm definitely picking up. Tom King is going to be writing a Superman book, but the Superman book is exclusive to Walmart. Sorry, that's my phone. I should have... Yeah, yeah, very professional of you. <laughs> I see you're very prepared for our show. Don't don't get mad at me you're because I'm more, I'm more popular here. than you. More popular? Yeah. No. Fan freak says no. otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no idea, mind you, so I'm just basically... You say something so controversial yet so brave. Yeah, yeah, no. Because <laughs> it comes out of my ass, that's how. <laughs> And before we move on from Green Lantern, so Yellow Lantern's fear, Black Lantern's no, what? Yeah, Yellow Lantern's fear, Black Lantern's death. Okay. And there's only one, which is Necron. And then there's the anti-light, the anti-green light, or anti-lantern, which is the one Batman one that I read. Oh, when? Oh, uh, that's metal. Where his angst overpowers the will. Yeah, super okay, hard. that's 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 another universe. Okay, I know. I just I thought that was a I, something I should bring up because it's yeah, like, Dawnbreaker. I got it. Yeah. Uh, Mm. There's all these forms of light that handle all the different emotions, but there's the secret one that only Batman can access. <laughs> you oh, know, it's of like, course. of course, his will is so high. Um, you know, did we ever talk about metal on the show? No. Okay, at some point we should probably talk about metal. We'll 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 dedicate like two segments to metal. Anyway, mm. when you're done reading Gotham: The Resistance, yes. So, uh, so Tom King's Superman book is going to be exclusive to Walmart because DC signed a deal with Walmart. So Walmart. Bendis is going to be on Batman for that. He's going to be the loudest. And Tom is. King is going to be on uh, Superman, so they're doing role reversal. So I'm fully prepared for finally, you know, yet again to have a good Superman book. It's only been like two months since I've had a good Superman book, but we're going to have a good Superman book again. The only good Superman book to come out, and it just so happens to be a Walmart exclusive. <laughs> yep. Oh, and really great news. Jeff Johns announced on Twitter Shazam is getting his own monthly book. This is the first time in six, seven years that he gets his own run. Uh, wow. The new 52 book that I lent you, yeah. Shazam, that's the last time he got a book. And that's not even his own book. It was snuck in like two or three pages at a time in Justice League comics. He wasn't even getting his own book. They were hoping that Shazam that's would so pick up. Weird. And he never got his own run. Because he, I, I, for me, who plays Injustice, right? He's a character who's been in both. So I figured he no, would. No, he's not. He's in Shazam's in the first one. He's yes, in the but, first one, but not in the second oh, one. He's, yeah, that's right. You Oops. know, you know uh, what other game he was in? In uh, DC versus Mortal Kombat. When he, he was, was originally Captain Marvel. There is, so right. There oh is a huge, <laughs> there was a huge rumor going around before San Diego Comic Con that Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe 2 was about to get announced. They, oh my dude, God, nowadays what? that could work really well just because now they know what they're doing with the superhero <laughs> franchises. Well, no fatalities still, but <laughs> Ed Boon uh, shot it down. So he's right now. There's no no Injustice 3 being mentioned. There's no MK11 being mentioned. There's no MKVDC being mentioned. Uh, MKVDC. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Maybe waiting till the next generation of consoles. That's a long wait, my friend. It's so, two years. Like, yeah, two, three years. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sony already admitted that they're planning on releasing PS5 oh, in always, 2021. I don't know, because I, I can't trust Even their Xbox anymore. at their previous E3 already announced another Xbox 2. I don't, Is I don't it know what like they're going to call their next one. Model, I X2? thought it was? Like, it was just a different... No, nope, it's a but... new, new console. Oh. Because they don't care about anybody who bought Xbox One X. I'll ignore that one, too. <laughs> 
<laughs> what else? Uh, oh, yeah. So the the Shazam book is going to feature the Shazam, Shazam. family. So <laughs> it's it's the Marvel family, excuse me. So we're going to see Mary Marvel and uh, and the little boy. I always forget his name. Little boy. I haven't Say heard Shazam, him. will you? <laughs> Shazam. It's been since Infinite Crisis as I've seen this family together. That's so weird because I always thought Shazam was a really popular character. Like he was up there. No. He's like C-list. Yeah, it's only now in recent times that he's starting to rise in popularity. Hmm. Mostly because the movie is coming out and the movie's being written by Jeff Johns, so it's great. Like, Jeff Johns is getting his fingers everywhere. It's just he's one of the more unique, like, uh, not just origin stories, but concepts for superheroes. You know what I mean? Like, It's every superhero fan's dream come true. Well, every child superhero fans, especially. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all wanted, when we were 9 or 10 year old, to have the powers of Superman. Right, and they put that, but within a narrative way, and I think that's super interesting. And I don't know, I have to finish reading the book, obviously, but I think you can go with so many different areas with that. You can, uh-huh. but they're going really on that book. That's going to be the, the movie. Okay, okay. Uh, let me really quick give you the origin of Aquaman. So basically, oh, boy. <laughs> so basically Aquaman, um, Arthur Curry, mm-hmm. was... King Arthur. That's yeah, yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. So, Reference. Queen Atlanta is the queen of Atlantis, okay, and she I, fell Florida. in love okay. with a lighthouse keeper who's a human, okay, and that was against you know Atlantean law, blah right. blah blah. There was a movie about this, it was called The Little Mermaid. I remember, yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh my god, <laughs> so, so, uh, when she gives birth to the boy, she doesn't trust anybody around the Atlantean, like, high command or whatever. She drops him off at the lighthouse. The dad takes care of the boy until he becomes kind of of age, and he's always attracted to the sea, so it's Moana. And he ends up in the water. He's, like, super fast in the water. Then he Oh, my finds God, this out- is Little Mermaid too. <laughs> you, you're aware of this, right? Because they have a daughter, and they put him on land, and then he really wants to go to the – she wants to go to the sea and then does the same thing. Yeah, but Little Mermaid's in the water. She wants to be on land. No, Little Mermaid 2. She gets to I didn't land. watch Little Mermaid 2. Yeah, Melody, the daughter, wants to go to the sea. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, <laughs> Because they're just kind of like, you can never step foot in the water. Don't touch the water. You'll freaking die. It's, it's like, also yeah. Moana. Oh, oh, but yeah. But Moana's Pocahontas. Moana's not Pocahontas. I will show you a video later. Oh, my God. Don't, that The moment where she compared the two grandma nature archetypes, I was like, oh, crap, that is... Almost exactly, Pocahontas. Anyway, Whatever. back to Aquaman. So, Aquaman, you know, goes to Atlantis, and he's always looked down upon because he's half human, half Atlantean. Right. And all the that. Atlanteans mm-hmm. are one hundred percent Atlantean, and they're like, "You shouldn't be the king." So, most of his story arc is Game of Thrones like, with a little bit of mud blood. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's basically Aquaman. All right, cool. I think that's a really cool backstory. I don't think they ever covered it in Justice League, the show, the animated show. They did. What? Did yeah. I miss that? The thing is, is that the the Arthur Curry in the Justice League animated show, they that was during a, a time in the creator's life. I can't remember when they decided to go with that kind of Arthur that he... That they made him like a huge, like bit big, buff, burly man. Yeah, with like the long hair and goatee. He and spoke he with was... the olden speak and was like, you know, one of those. Yeah, and that was when they were trying to make him the cool Atlantean man. Yeah, kind of like what they were doing with Superman, that they they wanted to make him more in tune with the Atlantean origin than mm-hmm. with the human origin. Okay, yeah, they they downplayed his human side for mm-hmm. that, I guess. Yeah, I I always thought it was a great move to. To cut off his hand and get the hook with the long hair. So I like oh, this yeah. design of it the new one. It was super intense back in the day. Yeah, like that's just, that's just such a good mix-up of the character design in my opinion. I don't know because I could see it overplayed because I have no idea what it's like in the comics if they just took that design and just ran with it forever. Mm-hmm. But like I liked that design for Aquaman. And it seems like the movie is doing that kind of. You know yeah, what I mean? With the long hair. Sort of. and the, yeah. So Like a mix of the two. Yeah. A little callback. Little callback, I think. Yeah, I I just have no idea what to expect. What's what's the plot here? Am I fighting Black Manta? Am I like what, no. what, he's, he's fighting, fighting Ocean, Ocean Master, which the, is his uh, his half brother. Yeah, who I, wants wait. to be the king? Wasn't he in Justice League the show? Because I remember yes. him. Yes, yeah. he was up. for sure. In Justice Orm League. Yeah. was in Justice League. Yeah, I remember him showing up for sure. God, that was such a good show. I'm sorry. Like, 
I, going into the comic book heroes, like I, I went from seeing the movies to Injustice to seeing the animated series, and I'm like, the animated series is amazing. Probably the best iteration of these characters I've seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, got what what else do we got to talk about? Because there's something uh, coming down the pipe. I just want to announce the Sony PS4 exclusive Spider Man game. Okay, so Mary moving. Jane Watson's in it. What? Yeah. Yeah. That much for Mary Jane? Really? Is she, she not in like everything Spider Man related to begin with? You'd be surprised. You'd be honestly surprised. <laughs> uh, uh, s- Semi spoilers for the newest Spider Man movie. Feel free to plug your ears. I'm not going to say anything specific, but do you like what you saw at the end of that film? The which film? Spider Man Homecoming. Oh, with. Uh, uh, and- no, she saw it. No, for people listening, if they didn't see it, I don't want to spoil it for them. I mean, didn't that- Homecoming come out last year or something? Yeah. Hey, I've seen movies that came out last year that I haven't seen. Wait, I take that back. I There are movies last year that I haven't <laughs> seen. How about that? Um, I have a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to Homecoming. I, mm. Me, personally, I, I still don't think I have the perfect Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I kind of see where you're coming from a little bit. I feel like my main, my main Spider-Man, he's a little bit too puppy-faced in a way. Like, he's too reliant on Tony Stark and not really being himself for foremost. But that was my problem with that Spider-Man. He was still a good Spider-Man, though. Well, so. a lot of people know that. I have a very, very deep dislike towards Iron Man, so seeing him in the movie just was very, very... uh, I had to bite my tongue. The whole movie was essentially, will Iron Man dad love me? Yeah. So yeah, that was that's. I felt like there was a lot of that because it was Robert Downey Jr. And what are you going to do? Not put Robert Downey in your film, I guess? You really shouldn't. (laughs) It's fine. You don't have to. (laughs) That's their Batman. They want to put him in everything just to get all that money. <sighs> but it's not even the character. It's, it's like it's his own. He's playing himself. I don't know. Uh, then again, I don't know how Tony Stark acts in the comics outside of being an alcoholic. Absolutely disgraceful. He's a terrible human being in the comics. The movies is a much more lighter, more tolerable version of Tony Stark in my opinion. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's actually like in the movies. He's actually a decent human being. In the comics, he's I, he's deplorable. I find I, it I can't, hilarious. I, no, I hate I hate Tony Stark. You guys have like gone so down and somber as soon as you're like, yeah, no, Tony Stark, he's he's fucking terrible. <laughs> you don't read as much as we had to read and dealt with him. I guess not. <gasps> Civil War, man. Yeah, geez. I have like oh, geez, Civil War. I have problems. <laughs> so many problems with Mussolini, Iron Man. What Iron Man was right? What? <laughs> I'm just saying it just to piss you off now. In the movie itself, I believe that Captain America was right just because Iron Man was like, people are blaming us for people dying, so it has to be us. And it's like, no, Iron Man, you saved lives. No, we killed them all. Okay, Iron Man, you believe that. Go ahead, Captain, save the actual day. No one else, I mean, she, I think she agrees with me. Iron gullible. Yes. Iron, yes. yes, I agree with that. I just Gullible. I don't agree with you <laughs> saying Iron Man was right. He's no, I what? He said that to mess with us. Yeah, no, well, okay. I definitely agree Captain America was correct. But he was there was nothing to be correct about. It was just like Okay, but like the Civil War comic, you're saying that. I need to read the Civil War comic. Okay, I'll lend, it, I'll lend it to you. I'll lend it All to right. you. Next topic, please. Okay. Well, you have it there. Pass this paper over. The Dragon Pass Ball trailer. Explain this to me, because I didn't see it. Um, so Broly's going to become canon. He was never mm-hmm. really canon. He was done by one of Toriyama's producers on the original Dragon Ball. He's a Ball. movie character. Yeah, he's yeah. a movie character. So now Toriyama's taking him and kind of redesigned him and put him in the Dragon Ball Super story arc that he's doing now. So okay. this takes place immediately after the big arc in Super, where Goku... Uh, and Frieza won the Tournament of Power. Basically, well, Android 17 won the Tournament of Power. Is this spoilers or? I mean, yeah, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, okay. <laughs> Leave all your angry comments to. It, it's Adrian. probably it's gonna be one guy. It's gonna be. It's um, gonna be me. <laughs> no, it's gonna be Michael Medina because he watches dub, and I hate dub. So if you mm-hmm. watch sub, you would know already what happens. And dub takes a while for everything to get translated and to be played on here. And properly yeah, yeah. properly translated will be never, because it's usually <laughs> never translated properly. Well, this is why we watch subtitles and we move on. This is exactly. How it Sub works. is superior to dub. Anyway, so the Dragon Ball trailer shows off uh, a new Broly and mm-hmm. Broly's dad and Broly fighting Frieza. 
at Final Form. Broly's dad. Super Broly Saiyan, Doc. And <laughs> Super Saiyan 2 uh, Vegeta and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Wait, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta? Wasn't that already a thing? Yeah, but like... He, he went Broly, <laughs> Broly in this trailer is fighting everybody at base form. He doesn't even go berserk. He doesn't even go legendary Super Saiyan and he's fighting everybody... In his base form to just show how strong he is. Does he still have his green energy? We see that at the end where he turns uh, berserk. Okay, because that was always Liz. You have a, an opinion on the uh, on the suit? They gave him green pants. Didn't he? No, he had white pants before. He had white pants okay, yeah. with like a green uh, like a green gold belt. Yeah, yes, but they made the pants almost the exact same color as his hair transformation. <laughs> That's really lazy and bad. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that does that sees this, and everyone else is just kind of like, "Oh my god, I can't believe Broly's coming back! Broly's being canon!" I'm just like, does no one see the Crayola mess that's on here? Yeah, there's such a thing as like bad coloration. Like, I see where their their mindset was. He uses green, so he should wear green. But when he's using the green, it's gonna be a problem. You know what I mean? Like, Not only that, uh, he looks to be in Saiyan armor. Which is very interesting in the Broly movies. He's shirtless. I always liked with how big like he his was. 13, 14 abs. Mm. Yeah, he was a huge mm. dude, like unnecessarily. In base like, form, he's like, you know, he's a typical, like, scrawny. He, he looks like Goku build wise when he's at his base form. It's only when he go- transforms twice into his legendary Super Saiyan mode that he gets steroids up the wazoo <laughs> and right. just rips his shirt all together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but keeps the green pants. But he keeps the green pants. It's important. Yes. Much like Incredible Hulk. What I akin to it to is that the original design of Broly was akin to a Greek god. Because he looks like sculptured out of what a Greek god would look like. I could see where where yeah. that comes from. Yeah. As, especially just how big and monstrous he was. Like, if you look at designs of Zeus back in the day, he looks like a Zeus without the beard. It's kind of weird how he's wearing toga pants. That's also another yeah. reason why. Uh I'm personally just happy that I got a canon Broly because that's that was my favorite character of the movies. Canon Broccoli. I will say this: Dragon Canned Dragon broccoli. Ball Heroes, <laughs> Dragon Ball Heroes can go right into the trash. It is terrible. It is eight. Okay, it is nine minutes long episode with seven minutes of actual animation because there's a minute of credits and a minute ending, and that's it. And it and it never gives you enough of a fight. It never gives you enough of a story. It is terrible. And I mean, they just gave Cooler golden form. Okay, so that was my next question, because Cooler was also a movie-specific character. I didn't know if they ever made him canon, but he was one of they, my favorites from back in the they day. They might make him canon simply because Dragon Ball Fighter Z is going to have him as a DLC character. Okay, but this is going to be like pre-metal Cooler and shit. So. No, it's final form Cooler with the with the really? weird head or whatever. Okay. so But they're also going to give him the golden form? Well, in Dragon Ball Heroes, they gave him the golden form. The Freezer race gets the golden form, I guess, now. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the explanation for golden form is that Frieza never trained. So when he did actually decide to... That is so stupid. I'm sorry, but okay. (laughs) Well, I mean, he was that strong. Like, you know, some universes, like in Dragon Ball, like some some Earths are... Okay, Not but when he, was, when he when he got raised. his ass kicked and put into space and he was repaired and came back, did he not train? No, he was half a robot. Why would you do that? You know you're going to go fight the person who kicked your ass and you're going to go, well, now I'm a robot now, you see, and I can totally win. Right, and he, and, he, and he got KO'd by Trunks immediately. How yeah. funny how that whole, how that whole saga was about robots from then on out. Yeah, yeah. what's a Goku? All right. Uh, another thing to talk about really quick is the Predator poster. Yeah, what is that? Damn, I'm so oh, out of the loop. My God. Shane the Black, the director so of, he was actually in the first Predator. He was a guy with glasses in the first Predator. Okay. Um, he is an accomplished writer director. He wrote and directed Iron Man three, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. <gasps> okay. And <laughs> also one of the Lethal Weapons. He wrote uh, Lethal Weapon one. Does he like Robert Downey Jr. that much? Robert Downey Jr. wasn't in Lethal Weapon. Not Lethal one. Weapon. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and Iron Man Three. I'm so glad I'm not the only one who saw Kiss Kiss. Bang I Bang. love Kiss Kiss Bang. What's Bang. up? That's like, a great movie. It's a it's a really good movie. Val Kilmer plays a gay gay guy really well. A gay gay guy. Gay gay guy. Got it. But I was trying to that was say called... gay straight man very well. 
<laughs> that was probably one of the best roles I've seen Robert Downey Jr. be in because he wasn't just being himself. He was actually a character, and it, it worked really well because he is a good actor. Overall, he is a good actor. I just want to see him act and not just, oh, the camera's on? Well, I'm Tony Stark. Look at me. I'm charismatic. I had a, it's like, okay. Yeah. But uh, but I'll in in, in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, you have one of the greatest movie insults of all time, which is look up in the dictionary of stupid – uh, look up the definition of the word stupid in the dictionary and you know what you'll find? And Downey goes, a picture of me? And Kilmer goes, no, the definition of stupid, which is what you fucking are. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That's really good. That's one of the best insults I've ever heard. No. Yeah, this this show isn't going on all noise. Anyway, uh, so Predator, the, the poster... He wrote, directed it. Uh, this is a movie. This is going to be a movie. It's coming out this okay. year. It's coming out this year. We've already had a trailer. It, it's a, The trailer's a bit rough. I don't, like, it's not enough of what I'm seeing. Also, he said at San Diego, like, he was quoted as saying that the movie leaves it open for two sequels. So we may have a Predator trilogy. Now, pardon me for not getting super excited for this because... You remember AVPR? Ah. Uh, uh. See, you were ha ha. See, he remembers. There have been a lot of flops leading up to this, so I'm all like. But uh, I liked, I like Predator movies by themselves. I'm one of the few that likes Predator too. I like Predators with Adrian Brody. Have you ever played Predator Concrete Jungle? I love that game. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's really <laughs> silly, but it's really good. <laughs> Give me more Predator in 1920 Chicago. Yeah. No. All I want to know, will it make me a sexual Tyrannosaurus? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it'll make you I'm a so sexual pr- something, all right. I'm Predator. so proud of you for using that line. That's such a great line. Oh, um, you want to tackle this Power Rangers Legacy Wars thing? So this is something I just found out um, as I was researching things. And it turns out that there was a Power Rangers app game, mobile app game called Legacy Wars. And Vinny, by the way, plays it. He's also a big fan of it. And in this game, they were doing a Street Fighter um, collaboration. Mm, yeah, so they had Ryu, Bison, and Chun Li as playable characters in this um, in this like mobile game or whatever. So people apparently liked it so much that someone is putting together a short film, okay? And it's backed by the people who made the game. So it's not like it's just a, a student film or something like that. It does look like it, however. <laughs> but regardless of that. It is a film about Ryu and Chun-Li arriving into the Power Rangers universe and then Ryu be, being given a, a, a power coin and he gets his own suit. It's called the Ryu Ranger. What? I shit you not, folks. <laughs> I'm researching this and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Ryu's going to be in a power... What is that? What is that? What is it? Oh, oh, that's a new suit. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. It, it looks like the white Power Ranger, but with like a freaking red band, oh, bandana on it. It's like really <laughs> silly looking. <laughs> hey, man. I gotta hey. see this. Some of the Power Ranger designs have been really, really interesting. So I'm I'm okay with it. Hey, you know, any I like the idea of someone going, wait a minute. Okay, people really liked this collaboration and they wanted to see more. We'll give them more. And it's like, okay, this is cool. And I'm, I don't know. That'd be a it. pretty dope uh, versus... To see, I, I want to see Power Rangers in a fighting game. Somebody modded Dragon Ball Fighter Z on the PC to make it a, a Power Rangers game. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh my god! Did you the see suit it? Suit is ridiculous. Why'd you I type Guile? It. Oh, oh, because you're gonna. Dun, 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 dun. Really? You're just dun, 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 gonna, dun, dun, dun. You're gonna, gonna ruin it for you. Da, 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 da. You're ruining it. All right, you're just ruining. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll be. I thought uh, you were looking up the picture of the Street Fighter obvious thing that I brought up, and you're like, nah, nah, you gotta play Guile theme. Hold up, because it it's goes the, with um, everything. Because yes, and it's the American national anthem, and we'll be right back.
that's not what I wanted. Yeah, he is. That's not what I wanted. So, um, damn. Where is it? Do we restart this? Or is this a lost cause? We send Liz home. I don't know. What are we doing here? You know what? Screw it. I'm keeping it in. Yeah, we talked over it, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not what I wanted. I wanted so official. <laughs> I wanted the one where he's web slinging in the air. Web sling. And anyway, we're talking about Spider-Man PS4. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Maximum. Did you see uh, Spider? Sorry, go ahead. Did you see uh, <laughs> the new PS4 Pro that they're releasing for? I it? did. I did indeed. So sexy. Yeah, I, I think I like the design too. But does it? Come with something too, like the game pre is all in there. It, it, yeah, the game okay. is it comes with, it? with all the DLC. Okay, all right, cool. So there's something to offset that. And we have a new suit that they showed off. They showed off the third and final pre order bonus suit for Spider Man, which is the velocity suit, which looks god awful. Oh, I thought it was like a leather jacket. <laughs> no, that's uh, the punk spider, Spider Punk. Is that's that, actually really good. It's a denim person? jacket. Mm. It's a denim jacket. Is that the same person? What do you mean? Is Punk that the same? Spider? They're all Peter Parker. They're all Peter? Something. Okay. Yeah. I, listen, all right. With fucking Crimson Spider, and, or no, Scarlet Spider, and, 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 and all these different other spiders that I'm forgetting the name of right now, which is bad. There's a, mo- there's a lot. We talked about them, remember? <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man 2099, uh, Kane. Unfortunately, a lot of them are dead. Yeah, and then they're gonna they're gonna kill more of them. Ooh, what was the name of that spider that, that they couldn't be in the same room because they banged too much? Silk. Silk. You both knew that straight from the get-go. I hope you're aware. That was good. <laughs> I knew. I knew Spider-Man Andrew. fan, so I'm, yeah? I'm not, okay. but Liz teaches me a lot. Okay, because I was expecting she, it out she's of Liz actually or out of Adrian. But I want this. Like, I want so this cool. publicly known. Liz is if she is not my equal, she is my superior when it comes to comics because she's wow. That's she's a... she's proven me wrong on X Men. To the point that I used to hate the X-Men and I used to hate Spider-Man. Now, because of her, I've changed my mind and I'm wrong. So, so I am publicly admitting that she's proven me wrong more often than I've proven I've been proven right. Oh, okay. Well, then you must obviously, yeah, because it was a good move for Spider-Man to make a deal with Mephisto. Bro, you just... Right? We don't make the deal with the devil. <laughs> We don't make it. Come on. She convinced you. She convinced you that everything is good now. Come on. No, not everything. We both admit there are things that are wrong, like Iron Man. Anyway. Some things should just be burned forever. (laughs) That was so genuine sounding. (laughs) So, so, yeah. Uh, Spider Man PS4, I'm extremely hype. Yuri Uh, Lowenthal is Spider Man. Oh, Liz is excited by that. You like Yuri? Wait, what? Yuri Lowenthal. He's the voice actor for the new Spider Man in the game. From the little bit that I've heard from all the trailers, he doesn't sound that bad. Okay. I like him. He is the same voice actor as Yosuke from Persona 4. Yosuke! Oh my god! Okay, yeah. I love him even more now. Yeah, he's been in a lot of stuff, this guy. Um, y- Yuri Lowenthal. Like, he's him, Liam O'Brien, Troy Baker are like the three that are in everything. Okay? I also... Mm, I've I, heard that name before. I also have some other news regarding Spider-Man, but the movie, the Far From Home sequel to Homecoming. So they're keeping the home naming convention? He, yeah, but he's going to be in London for this, for this, uh, for the Spider-Man sequel. So it's kind of like he's a foreign exchange student. Uh, okay, but does it have to do with home? <laughs> far from home? He's far from New York? Uh, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just such a stretch. Mysterio oh. is the villain. Okay. Oh my God, we're finally gonna see a live and action we may yeah. have a chameleon uh, cam- uh, cameo. No. Oh yep. They. My uh... God. <laughs> if I've ever seen a franchise that's ha- been the worst with handling multiple villains, though. No, 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 no. Because Homecoming had Scorpion mentioned. Mentioned. Right, which is going to be the same thing they do for uh, okay, chameleon. Okay, so just a mention. Right, and the main bad was Vulture. The main bad for this is is Mysterio. Be Mysterio. Okay, because I'm having flashbacks of multiple enemies. Now this is Venom, me. Sandman. This is me. Oh, just okay. spitballing here because it's in Britain. Captain Britain, please. Oh my God. Captain Britain. Full magic, uh, superhero. Akin to Doctor Strange. I was going to say, isn't that just Doctor Strange? <laughs> right, but this is like Doctor Strange and fused with Captain America. Will 
the deal so with Doctor Fox Who. be finalized <laughs> by, by that, that time? Ta- no. Then, uh, I mean, right now it's kind of finalized. The only person left is the shareholders that are holding it up. But aside from that, uh, okay, let's get to the next topic though, because I know I have a whole list there. You um, do. We're, we're, uh, we're still talking about Spider. Okay, he's, so he's cool. I mean, this is a Liz and you part. Oh, uh, Breath of the Wild Link in Mario Kart Eight. You read that the way I wrote it. Mario Kart Eight free DLC. B O W Link. Correct. <laughs> Bio organic weaponry. He's the hero of time, therefore the perfect test subject. Yes, Link. <laughs> yes, Link. Gather those spiritual stones. Oh my god. <laughs> but, but yeah, no, it's Chris, cool. Do you remember this friend of yours? <laughs> do you know the Zelda's lullaby? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to think of more puns, but it's difficult, okay? The goddess has done nothing on me. Because he's that powerful. Come on. Who would win in a fight? Wesker from MVC3 or Ganondorf? Mm. One has just fuck off magic, okay? And one does not. I don't. I feel like Ganondorf would, would win just because he can just make things come to life out of well, nothing. Because then, he has yeah. one... One part of the Triforce, so yeah, I can say that Ganondorf would probably be. But mm. I have Ouroboros. <laughs> <laughs> I will put that nasty king in his place. <laughs> Very obvious. <laughs> Only I could be king of the Gerudos. <laughs> Gerudos. Oh, no. oh, so we did a gay ship thing. Oh, um, yeah, about it was, Wesker. It was, it was in the water. Um, it was a giant boat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Liz, Liz. <laughs> George convinced me that Chris Redfield's kind of gay. Kind of. For a Wesker, right? Well, no, no just period. The... He's never he's never done anything with Jill. It's... He never did anything with Sheva. Every female partner that he it, it shows like there's some sort of trauma that they're getting over and they survived something and it looks like there's the start of a relationship there, it never goes anywhere. Okay? But he shows more affection and, and care for his partner. In, in Resident Evil 6, where it's neat, where it's uh, Pierce. Oh, the private guy? Yeah, essentially. That, that's pretty much what you should call him. He has no character outside of, No, Chris, you gotta be a good guy. Oh, you're so right, Pierce. Where was I without you? And it's like, it gets really close. Oh, oh I remember that guy. Yeah, that was his number one fan this in, in the entire game. <laughs> but he shows more of a visceral reaction to things that happen to Pierce than Sheva. Or even Jill. Like, Jill at the end of, like... When she dies, quote unquote, he's like, oh, it's a friend of mine that I lost a long time ago. It doesn't sound like romantic interest at all. It's just like he has a very good friendship with Jill, the same way he has a good friendship with Sheva. And it's just kind of like, where, what message so what, are you trying to give us here, Capcom? Because look at his alternate costumes, too. Have you seen Revelations? The Resident Evil Revel- No, the book. Have you seen Revelations? No. Resident Evil Revelations, the one that takes place on the ship? Um, I haven't seen any old. Alternative costumes. Why? What's this costume? All right. A sailor. It, there's oh a sailor God. suit with little little shorts. Like it is YMCA sailor suit kind mm-hmm. of. And thing. he has a BDSM outfit in, in Resident Evil Res- Five. How does the outfit look in the? Here, I'm like with the leather, uh, like that, just oh skin God. and leather. Yeah, it looks. It's called. It's like a Mad Max kind of outfit, but it's what the main villain in Mad Max. I think. Mad Max 1? Or yeah, the... Not Road Warrior. Just like, walk away. Yeah. Everything will be fine. Chris Redfield just is part w- of our team. <laughs> yeah, I know. Totally. That's what I got from. And so... I'm fine with that. They never really put a lot of attention to My question to, to George was, is Wesker the top or the bottom? That's the question. Wesker, top. No right? No question. That's what I said. He has such a power, like, fantasy. It's but like that's, the, that's the problem I have. I think Chris, he wants Chris to overpower him. Like, that's no. his fetish. The way that Chris can go talks one or the about other way. Wesker, the way that he obsesses about Wesker almost the entire time that Resident Evil has been a thing? Uh-huh. Nah. Chris is the bottom, though. Chris is 100% the bottom. Yeah, he, and I could see that, too, because he's, like, a big guy, and he's just like, well, what if I want to be a bottom instead? And Wesker's like, oh, me in control? Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know. Chris, this is his costume. Oh, my God. You tell me what you think. What is Capcom <laughs> telling us? What is Capcom saying? Oh it's not just God. a standard sailor. No, no, no. <laughs> he definitely loves semen, that's for sure. 
Boom. Zinger. What the hell? Where, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> like, oh, so good. But yeah, no. So that's my. Because you're too slow. Know. Kind of, I guess. <laughs> Come on, step it up. I know. I know. Uh, all right. So enough so about Chris being know? gay, right? Yes, of course. Enough about Wesker and Chris and their secret relationship. Yeah. Off camera. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Complete global. Castration. I'm sorry. I'm sure I'll think of like five more things as I'm leaving here today and be like, no, that makes Chris gay too. Shit. Oops. <laughs> oh, man. So, Liz, you got the uh, the update, the free DLC for Breath of the Wild Link on uh, MK8? Uh, my Switch downloaded it this morning, yeah. Oh, okay. So You were telling it's... me it comes with more than just the Link skin. Yeah. On top of uh, Link's champion tunic that you get to wear in Breath of the Wild, you can also get the motorcycle that you can acquire in Breath of the Wild, and you can play with that motorcycle in Mario Kart 8. Because everyone, like, completely, um, not over-talks, but they, people are really praising the motorcycle in Breath of the Wild. They're saying, like, that changes up traversing... The area, mm. like, because it's a dirt bike. It's a dirt bike that you that goes over anything and everything in the game. From what I've seen in Breath of the Wild, and how many physics glitches that not physics glitches, but like thinking outside of the box, like uh, ways that people have come up with to solve problems in Breath of the Wild, I find that motorcycle is going to like make that exponentially more. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, I feel that the problem is you can only get the motorcycle like very late in the game. That that's how you balance it then. Okay, that makes sense because it's just like vroom, jumping straight into Ganon's castle. Don't tell me what to do, <laughs> Link. You're such a badass. Uh, changing topics. Yeah. Next, I see that town, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. So well, I'm alone there now in our special place. Waiting for you. I know the whole game script. Don't even I, start with I me. know, I know. Okay. That, that's why your nickname on my Facebook Messenger is Jill Sunderland. I like how I'm both. <laughs> his, my, his nickname on my thing is Captain Whisker. Oh my god, that's so, so it's cute. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but but to, to introduce this segment, turns out um, there was a, uh, a hidden bonus feature in Silent Hill 2 that no one discovered up until like last week. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is the original PS2 the version. The original PS, yes. And that's the weirdest thing because me, who's been like obsessed with Silent Hill 2, how did I not hear about this, right? Well, they just found that out well, after 17 years. But people have dissected this game like crazy. I know where I can get the texture files online. Like, that's how much this game has been put apart. Turns out, once you get the dog ending in Silent Hill 2, if you hold L2, R2, uh, select and square, it'll put up a mini-map on the top right of your screen and you can save anywhere. What? Like, this is all, these are all features that I guess were made to make replays a lot faster or testing faster or something like that. But how does this go by for so many years with no one noticing? I mean, the um, internet was in its infancy when this game came out. But I just love how there will be people that say like, oh, mini maps and games today. Oh, well, they're just it's not it's not uh, it's not hardcore enough. It's too mainstream. Well, look, Silent Hill 2 freaking had a mini map. You had to beat the game, but it's there. So, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, to be fair, we just did a, a like a playthrough because I can't stand watching people play games. So but they Such a weird statement, but OK, they <laughs> wanted uh Annie and Liz wanted to watch uh, Sana Hill because I don't shut up about it. OK, as you shouldn't. OK, <laughs> the, the thing was, I played Sana Hill three for them first. OK, because I felt I could beat that faster than two. <sighs> yeah, you yeah, you did. Right. You were able to beat it faster. Right. Cause, Cause you, yeah, because I feel the bosses in two are a bit harder. Yeah, yeah, there's I mean, a lot of dead air there. <laughs> not, the, re the reason why I say that that you're prop that you're correct on that is because the two pyramid head fights you have, it's not a matter of lowering his health points. It's just surviving and doing enough damage to the game says, okay, you can go now. And he has an instant kill attack in a small room, and yeah. that was always a pain in the ass. Yeah. So, so that was too much I mean, ridiculousness for. And I mean, mm -hmm. there was there was a long period where I didn't even save. Oh, oh, so like I died and then I rage quit. So we like restarted or whatever for two. But three I did first and then we did two. And then with two, like, uh, I forgot where I was going. With I feel like because you're saying three would be faster to complete. 
Yes, but... And you were showing Annie and I the games. Right, but this mini-map would have been so much easier because there's like <laughs> there's like a no third way. there's a third of the game where you can't get a map of the area. Right. Like the historical society, the prison part. Well, he draws it. Okay, kind of. Yeah, but I mean you said no map. There is, but it's like, you know, you make it up as you go. Yeah, but <laughs> there's a bunch of times where I'm oh, where yeah. I'm like, good lord, uh there's Check not a map, map of this area, and then he opens up, and you see just the lake and everything. I'm like, that doesn't help while I'm in the apartment <laughs> building, bro. No, no, you're in that building. <laughs> Don't you see? <laughs> it's helpful. Come on. You, you want to talk about hard to finish games, though? Like, three is faster for sure because you go from area to area to area. It's not a lot of exploring around the town. There's like no overworld, does. really. Yeah. yeah Four. Linear. Oh, my God. Good luck with that shit. Because you have to do, you have to go through half of the game, go back to the areas you already went through, but as an escort mission. I saw, uh, so George here was kind enough to uh, recommend me a retrospective that's like two and a half hours long. Yeah, okay, it's a little more than that. Of Twin Perfect, but I found another one that's, uh, that break it up in parts in specific games. What do you think mine is? You think it's just one giant video that covers all of them? I mean, when you show me a video and it says two and a half hours long, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, but that's because I put on the HD collection video, which was something they added on to the end of the retrospective because it was made, and they were pointing out every single graphical flaw. That's why it took an hour. Okay. Two hours. Did, did you uh, play HD Collection? We that's did. That's what we were playing. Yeah. You uh, terrible, terrible people. No, I'm kidding. That's the only one that was on the PS3. Yeah, I know, but they change everything. The sound effects, the you music. You want to buy me Silent Hill 2 on the PlayStation 2? I'll let you borrow it. Ooh. I have it. Of course I have it. Okay? I have all of them. <laughs> all right. Now then. Uh, Minimap. But <laughs> Silent Minimap. Hill 4 is very interesting. Very... I, I will go on the record saying... Why they killed Cynthia so quick? Because a lot of them die. Yeah. That's the whole point. You're, you're, the, uh, you're the observer of wisdom. The receiver of wisdom. I'm sorry. And it's all about the cult. Y- yes, which makes it an actual sequel to right. the game. Cause that's but it has, the it's not was. in Silent Hill. No. There is one part in, but two parts in, actually. The, the forest is outside of Silent Hill. The water tower is in the lake. Okay. So... I don't know how the hell you... How does James on his freaking rowboat... He's like, Dada, wow, that's a huge fuck-off tower there. I guess I'll just go around that. That's, whatever, I guess we won't talk about that. But I will go on record saying Silent Hill 4, in my opinion, is the scariest one. Okay. Personally... You not the, you're not the first person I've heard that. Yeah, just the imagery in general is just far leagues beyond... Personally, for that. me, it's... Uh, like, there's not a scarier one, like a complete one. I... I haven't played four, so I mean complete. Uh, it's a very long game, uh, but I'll say the beginning mall for me was Silent Hill three and Silent Hill two. Uh, the apartments when you go back outside after the apartments when it's all dark. Oh, that's after the hospital. I'm sorry, the hospital. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that terrifies me to know. That was the prime level of what Silent Hill, the town over map looked like to me. Like that was where it was at its prime, where it was nighttime and just shit was everywhere. Yeah. And you're like, okay, it says I got to go that way, but I really don't want to go out there. How about that? You know? So, uh, I I could talk about Silent Hill all day. I know you can. So, uh, this is an animal crossing thing. Yes. What's up about animal crossing? So you want to... Sure. Turns out in the original GCN, the GameCube version of Animal Crossing, you know how you could play NES games that you can order through the mail? Like you do specific tasks and then they would say, here's Balloon Fight. And you yeah. could play Balloon Fight. Turns out when the game switches to that NES game, it's actually an NES emulator that it accesses and inputs a ROM in there. And so people have gone in there and have just imported other ROMs in the place of other ones and you can play any NES game. In Animal Crossing. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm. So dust off that copy of Animal Crossing and start modding, folks. That's what I can just suggest. Also, speaking of Animal Crossing, for those that are still waiting, Reggie himself has said, I want a new Animal Crossing. And I will announce it when I can. Thank and he's Reggie. a he's a big uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf fan. He's personally, I love New Leaf. Yeah. He, sh- he put a picture of his, on his Twitter of his 3DS that he's put 200 hours in Animal Crossing. I mean, 
Uh I I eventually, you know, I I eventually was seduced by the dark side of time traveling. So that game is kind of ruined for me. Why would you want to kill your plants? What do you mean kill the plants? New plants grow weeds. (laughs) You 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 monster. You talk to the ghost and the ghost picks all the weeds for you. (laughs) It's really stupid, but that's what it is. I don't know. It's fun. It's a good game. And lastly, what do Japanese fans call? Ridley? Mm-hmm. So it turns out there was a consensus. Uh, I don't know where I got this from, but it was uh, apparently what people are talking about online. They reference Ridley as Captain America in, in Japan. Uh, I'm more oh surprised by the fact that you're not a Metroid fan. Me? Um, I like Metroid, which is unfortunate. Not unfortunate. Uh, I like Metroid, but what's unfortunate is that I found Castlevania first. Mm. So I, I played Symphony of the Night and then went to Metroid and said, hey, this is just Symphony of the Night, which is the wrong way for that to go. You know? Uh, hey, man, I could still respect Metroid. Don't get me wrong. Samus was in Smash and I love Samus. All right. Just as a character, she's great. Metroid was the original twist. Yeah. The biggest twist of all time. When no one knew that you were playing a woman. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like it's weird how that's a twist though, because no one said Samus was a dude to begin with. Right, but everybody assumes like Space Marine, whatever. That's their assumption. You right. You know what I mean? Right. It's not really much of, I get what you're saying. Nineteen eighty six was a magical time when people could assume stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I think it's weird nowadays. I look at a game like Metroid and I see a space person on the front, I'm not gonna automatically assume it's male or female. In fact, I'll probably think it's a robot. More than well, the only one I know for a fact is a dude is Doom Guy. Well, true. Yeah. Well, that's well. The... No, Ma- uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Master Chief is a Space Marine. He's a dude. Is he? Yes. Is he? A dude? Is he a dude? Is he? Master Chief. Is... I need a weapon. Really? That guy? I don't know. That I could have been I a would... voice Who knows? I don't want to assume it's anyone's outside gender. Outside the box. She's thinking outside the box. I don't want to like assume this. anyone's gender. Oh. <laughs> Um, for, for the record, for the record, Dead or Alive 4 has a Spartan playable character, and she is badass. She is badass. That's awesome. Yes. Right. But, you know, back in the day, it was really, it was more common to have male leads in video games. Yeah, and so of the fact that you would have a girl mm-hmm. and be a lead, and especially finding that out at the very end mm-hmm. of the game, that was a... That was a pretty of big course, deal. yeah, of course, and I, I think that's a great move. I don't. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's funny how everyone just kind of got so carried away thinking that, oh, this is me. I'm a dude. Oh, oh, it's a girl. It's like that's cool that they did that. I just think it's funny that it happened. You know what hey, I mean? Hey, man. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you get you know Anita Sarkeesian. Anyway, what are you? What are, what are you? No, no. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't, you're making this controversial for no reason. Always controversial because. The last Some bit of pro-life. news, <laughs> the last bit of news, because we have to run. This show has gone off the rails long enough. No. But I want to say thank you, Liz, for being on. Uh, I'm glad that I got you two to meet, my two little gay Tauruses. He just yeah, loves man. calling us that. Like <clears throat> Originally, <throat> this, this show was going to be called Two Gays and a Straight. He really likes, like, I'm the straight guy in this group. Because like, I, okay. I feel outcasted. <laughs> yeah, right now he's in the minority. Ah, okay. So you're yeah. just loving it. The white male straight man is the minority in this. Isn't that great? I mean, is it great? It's just kind of what it is. <laughs> yeah. It is Manor-y. what it is. So here's the last bit of news. George, always a pleasure to have you on, but you got to start heading out because it's 2.45. Yeah, I got to start heading out soon. But please, what's the last bit of news? There's a rumor going around about the Joker origin movie. That's uh, the Joker is going to be played by Joaquin Phoenix. <clears throat> In the origin movie, it's going to be revealed that he's Thomas Wayne's bastard son, so he's Batman's half brother. Okay, see you guys later. Excuse me. That's a rumor going around. That sounds awful. I'm sorry. It is. It it's... is. It's fucking terrible. Because that reduces all of the, the, the animosity between Batman and Joker as just brotherly quarrels. Is this the same rumor mill that's, that said that Joker himself was Robin? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's the internet. Wild yeah, internet speculation uh, will always exist. I'm just letting you know this is a rumor that's going around about this movie. By the way, next year we're having three DC movies. We're having Wonder Woman 2, 
uh, which is called Wonder Woman 1984. We're having Joker, the origin movie, and we're having Shazam. I'm sorry, when you said Wonder Woman 2, I'm just imagining like they show Gal Gadot and there's just another woman behind her. It's like, I'm Wonder Woman 2! <laughs> <laughs> you can be Wonder Woman 2! <laughs> she Gal Gadot, she's like, oh god, alright. Yeah, alright, so uh, no music at this point because Next Gen screwed Woo! me on this. So, uh, Get to editing, punk. I will. <laughs> uh, bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Goodbye.